Good day, favorites. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite tutor. And today is your favorite tutor on mathematics. All right, I have a question on the board under geometric progression, GP. By geometric progression, I mean a form of a sequence in which each term has a what a common ratio and is preceding 10. All right, let's go through this question and then we solve. A GP has a first term of A, a common ratio of R, and its sixth term is 700, 768. Another GP has a first term of A, common ratio of 6R, and its third term is 3000. 456 evaluates A and R. So we are solving for what? A and R. All right, GP solution. Now, for any term in a GP, the formula for any term in a GP is given as. Okay, a arrow, a r, then what n minus one. Now this is the formula for what n term in the words a g t. All right, we're told that the first one we have what a. The first term is what a. We're told that a g t has the first term a, and what common ratio of what r, and the system is equals to what? 768. Also, another GP has a common ratio of what? A. As a what? Sorry, a first term of A and a common ratio of what? 6R. And this what? Third term is what? 3456. Okay, now these two were given to us, okay? A is for first term, Y R for what? Common ratio. We are looking for what? The first term, we are looking for what? A and what? R. So therefore, for six term, for six term, it's giving us what? A, R, N minus what? Therefore, it's going to be what? N minus Sorry, 6 minus 1 for the 6th term. So therefore, and the 6th term is what? 700 and what? This is the formula for 6th term. N represents the word, the number. So the system is what? 700 and what? 68 equals to what? A. R raised to the power of what? 6 minus 1 is what? 5. So therefore, I can see that A r is the power of what 5 is equal to what 700 and what 68. Let's call this equation 1. Okay, now let's go to the other one. Third term. For third term, in this other side of it, is equal to what a, the common ratio, as a common ratio of what 6r. So therefore, this will be what 6r raised to the power of what? n minus what? 1. Now, n, n is what? 3. So, therefore, 3 minus 1 is what? 2. So, this is basically part of what? 2. So, therefore, the third term is what? 3,456 equals to what? A. 6 raised to the power of 2 is what? 30. It's 36. So, you can write this as what? 36 A R raised to the power of what? 2. Yeah. So, if I divide, okay, I can also write this as 36 A R raised to the power of 2 equals to what? 3,456. Okay, if I divide both sides by what? 36. 
I'm going to do what? Simplify this further. If I divide both sides by 36, I will have a r is the power of 2 equals to 96. 96. So I call this equation 2. So I have equation 1. I have what? Equation what? 2. And I'm looking for what? A and what? R. Okay, so what do I do? I divide 1, equation 1, by what? Equation 2. So therefore, equation 1. Equation 1 right here, on the left-hand side, it is what? A, R raised to the power of 5, divided by what? Why equation 2 on the left-hand side is what? A, R raised to the power of what? 2 equals to what? Equation 1, right here on the right-hand side is what? 768 divided by what? 96. So therefore, A, we cancel out A. Now, what do we have here? What do we have here? R raised to the power of 5 divided by R raised to the power of 2. Now, this is, we can use what? Uh, law of what? Index. Same as saying R raised to the power of 5 divided by R raised to the power of what? 2. The days are what? Same. We pick one, R, then what? Due to division, we subtract the word power. 5 minus 2 is what? 3. So this is what we have. So therefore, right here, R raised to the power of 5 divided by R raised to the power of 2 is equal to what? R raised to the power of 3 equals to 768 divided by what? 96. We are going to have what? 8. So I'm looking for R. Therefore, I take the cube root of what? 8. So therefore, R is equal to what? Cube root of 8, R is equal to what? 2. So I have my R. Now let me, let us look for what? A. There we do what? Substitute. All right. We substitute R equals to 2 into which equation do we need to do that? Okay. Equation 2. You can put it any of the equation, you get the same thing. So therefore, equation 2 is what a, r is the power of 2 equals to what, 96, and r is what, 2. So therefore, a, bracket, 2 raised to the power of 2 equals to what, 96. So 2 raised to the power of 2 is what, 4. So therefore, 4a is equals to what, 96. You divide both sides by what, 4. a is equals to what, 24. Ladies and gentlemen, We've come to the end of this what episode. We just round up. A is what? 24. And what? Arrow is what? 2. Please don't fail to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as you do so, God bless you. Thank you.